Thanks, Dave. Getting back to tonight's top headlines, a drunk driving case is raising eyebrows after a pardon from Governor Rick Snyder, and it involves a local attorney who also serves on a state board. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaquette joins us now from Bloomfield Township, where the uh, lawyer was pulled over. Simon. Malcolm, this is pretty much unheard of. The governor pardoning someone for drinking and driving, and now it's got the attention of mothers against drunk driving. Governor Rick Snyder isn't normally camera shy, particularly when seeking support. But he said next to nothing publicly about a recent pardon of a politically well-connected Metro Detroit lawyer busted for drunk driving. Yep, Bloomfield Township cops arrested attorney Alan Gaucher Jr. a few years back. He refused a breathalyzer, then blew a .11 at the police station. We paid Gaucher Jr. a visit at home, but he refused to come to the door. A former lawyer for the popular five-hour energy drinks, Gaucher Jr. was placed by Snyder onto a state economic board back in 2011. And the attorney also gave more than 25 grand to political action committees from 2011 to 2013. Gaucher Jr. is one lucky guy. After losing several appeal attempts, his pardon was just one of 11 granted out of roughly 750 who applied. It's virtually impossible to get a pardon. Attorney Jeffrey Feiger fights for the rights of citizens every day. He says drunk drivers often face stiff fines and prison time, and this pardon's like nothing he's ever seen, especially since Gaucher Jr. pled guilty to driving while impaired. I doubt very highly that the parole board thought that uh, drunk driving was a, a, a high priority and we should pardon somebody who got drunk driving conviction in 2007. In a statement to Action News, Mad also responding to the governor's pardon by saying, quote, Mad is disappointed anytime someone chooses to drink and drive, especially someone who's in a position of authority or considered a community leader. Drunk driving is a violent crime and is 100% preventable. Tonight I reached a spokesperson for the governor by phone. She says there was zero wrongdoing whatsoever. She goes on to say the governor simply followed recommendations of a parole board. I want to know what you think about this. Reach out to us on WXYZ.com, Facebook, and Twitter. Live in Bloomfield Township, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News.